Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a great, fun, and safe Labor Day weekend. I know we did. We also had a little emergency. We had to bring Madison to the ER on Sunday night, so you guys will see what happens in my vlog. I did a vlog a little bit over Labor Day weekend, and I have a little clip it, and I also talk about what happened. So definitely look out for that vlog. It should be uploaded tomorrow so you guys can see what happened. Just so you guys know, she is okay, but we did have to take her to the ER Sunday night. So like I said, you'll see that in tomorrow's vlog. So for today's video, it's going to be a haul and it's going to be another haul from Dollar Tree. I have a lot of DIYs and crafts that I'm planning on doing. And then I also just needed a few things that I just needed for like around the house to pick up from Dollar Tree. So I went and I grabbed a few things. So I thought I would share with you guys what I purchased. So the first few items is going to be, these are called, and I just says decor, but they're kind of like garden stakes, I guess you would call them. I don't know, but they're like Halloween decor. So I want to put this outside of our house. So I did pick up four of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to need any more, but I did just pick up four. So I do plan on putting that outside in October for Halloween. The next item is going to be this wooden sign that says beware. The background's kind of like a whitish gray color and then in black glitter it just says beware. And I bought one in this color and then I bought a second one in a black and orange color. Same thing says beware except in black and orange. So I'm going to be doing a DIY with this so definitely look out for that. I'm going to film the DIY that I plan on doing with that. And then I just bought this for outside. It says a welcome to our patch. I actually purchased this last year and then I never used it. So I'd saved it for this year and I have no clue where it is. We lost it in the move. So I just picked up another one because I thought that was super cute. Then I also picked up this cute little scarecrow. They had different colors. They had green, orange, and I think like a burgundy color. I went with the green one. So you guys will see what I plan on doing with this scarecrow because I do plan on filming what I plan on doing with it soon. So you guys will see that. Next is going to be the skeleton arms. So I liked that it had like this little stake where you can put it into the grass, into the ground outside. So I picked up two of them. They are going to be part of our Halloween decor outside. And then in this bag, I have this Halloween bow. I am planning on making a Halloween wreath. I bought a ton of things for the wreath, but I think I might put this bow on it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to play around when I make the wreath and see if this will fit on it and how I like it. So I just bought that bow. Then I bought this little straw bale. I bought one of these like a month or two ago and I have no clue where it went. So I bought another one. And then I want to make another fall wreath. If you guys saw, I did just upload a fall wreath that I made out of flowers. If you guys did not check that out, I will link it down below for you guys to see. But my mom really loved it. I sent her a picture of it. So she wants me to make her a fall wreath. So instead of making it out of flowers, I'm thinking about making it with this like ribbon. And it's so pretty. This one is gold and then this one's orange. And I just thought that was really pretty. So I'm going to try to make her a wreath out of this. I need to go and pick up some more actually. And then I also picked up two sets of these pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. They are so cute. So it comes in a set of two for your salt and pepper. So I picked up one for my mom and one for my sister. And this is going to be part of their Christmas gift. Next is going to be some fall florals again. I'm going to be using this to decorate the outside of my house and I'm also going to be using that scarecrow in it. So I'll show you guys how I do it and what I plan on doing. But I bought this maple leaf and then this other maple bouquet. This one has a cute little pumpkin on it. And then these are just a bunch of maple leaves. I bought two of those and then I bought two of their maple leaf garlands. So I bought this one that has like little acorns on it and then this one has a cute little pumpkin. So that is what I plan on using outside as well. Now I have one bag left. All this stuff has nothing to do with Halloween or fall, but I thought I would still share it with you guys. So I bought this splatter screen. I don't know how well this will work because it is from Dollar Tree, but I needed one of these because sometimes when I cook and I cook in olive oil or regular oil, it'll splatter everywhere and it'll burn me. So I'm tired of getting burnt. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. Then I picked up two of these Glade Solid Air Fresheners. I've never used these in my house, but I've seen a ton of people haul these. I don't know how well it'll work. The scent is lavender and peach blossom. So I bought two of them. I'm planning on putting one like in the bottom of my trash can 
and then one in Madison's room because she still is in diapers. So we do have a diaper pail in there and I don't like to use wallflowers in her room just because she always takes it out of the wall. So I figured maybe I can like hide this underneath her dresser where she can't get hold of it or maybe even in her closet. So see how those work out. Then I bought two packs of this super glue gel. I wish they sold this in a larger one. I use this super glue for a lot of things around in the house for DIYs and it works really well. But these are so tiny and they don't sell a larger one. So I just picked up two packs of these. Then I picked up this paintbrush set. I've never used the paintbrushes from Dollar Tree so I don't know how well it'll work. I don't know if it'll fall apart or whatever but I thought for a dollar I would try that out. And then I also bought this sanding sponge. I needed both of these for a DIY that I'll be doing. So we will see how these work out. Okay guys, so that is the last item that I purchased from my Dollar Tree. Like I said, half of these items are things I'm going to be using in future DIYs that I plan on making. And if you guys want to see what I do with half of this stuff, definitely subscribe if you are not already subscribed so you don't miss out on those DIYs. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do upload a new video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.